I have decided to research Hershey Park, which is chock full of information and history, which has brought this amusement park to the world-class attraction it is today. Hershey Park wasn't always a thrill-seeker's dream. In the beginning, Milton S. Hershey wanted to establish a place where the employees of the company and the residents of the town could relax. There was a bandstand and a baseball field and a few other buildings, but most of all, it was a simple park. This park opened on April 24, 1907. Between 1908 and 1923, among other things, an amphitheater, a miniature railroad, a carousel, a dance floor, and the Wildcat roller coaster were added to the park. In 1912, a pool was opened that was hugely popular but was replaced by a bigger pool in 1929. Unfortunately, in 1971, the pool was eliminated. In the time period between 1930 and 1960, several more attractions were added, including a fun house, two Ferris wheels, and the Dry Gulch Railroad. The Comet took the place of the Wildcat, and the carousel we know today replaced the old one. In 1945, a a little over 24 attractions were in place. In the 20 year span of 1980 to 2000, more amazing attractions were added. Some would last, some would go. The ones that would last included the Tidal Force, the Great Bear, the Wave Swinger, the Ferris Wheel, and the Sidewinder. The Chaos and the, the Cyclops would eventually leave the park. In the past decade, Hershey Park has brought in some extremely innovative amusement attractions, mainly in the form of roller coasters. The Lightning Racer was an innovative and exciting racing wooden roller coaster. Then there was the Roller Soaker, a water ride roller coaster. Also, there was the Storm Runner, the first launch roller coaster with loops and corkscrews. The year 2007 marked the 100th anniversary of Hershey Park and its great history. In 2007, Hershey Park opened their very own water park in the boardwalk. In 2008, Hershey Park opened Fahrenheit, a roller coaster with a job of 97 degrees and a 90 degree lift. In 2009, the Canyon River Rapids ride was removed and replaced with an extension of the water park. What will the future hold? Only time will tell.